Time is 624 and let's get to our national headlines this morning. A bad food label is being blamed for leading to the death of an inspiring dancer in Connecticut. Officials are trying to figure out what went wrong. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis. For someone to to leave us so young and so soon uh, at the height of her career um, is really is a tragedy. This morning, those who knew 25-year-old New York dancer Orla Baxendale say her death should not have happened. She was vibrant, dynamic, um, a little kooky at times. Um, you know, someone who uh, didn't particularly take themselves seriously, but they took the work seriously. She died earlier this month from an allergic reaction after eating a cookie from a package missing a warning that the cookies contained peanuts. Her friends rushed her to the hospital and used her EpiPen, but it was too late. Because Orla was so vigilant and so careful with everything she touched, she actually Googled soy nut, which is on the package, thinking, wanting to make sure that a soy nut wasn't a nut. The cookies were made by a wholesaler, but were sold at a Stu Leonard's grocery store location in Connecticut. Stu Leonard Jr. in a recorded statement blaming the original maker, Cookies United on Long Island. I could imagine how that family feels right now. And, you know, we're all just very, very sad about this whole thing. But Cookies United says that's not true, releasing an email alerting multiple Stu Leonard's employees to the change in ingredients and showing an original label with peanuts as an ingredient. Health officials are investigating the woman's family hiring a lawyer. They're too distraught to speak to anybody, but they want this story out so it doesn't happen again. The cookies have been recalled, and since they were sold in December, it's unlikely they're still around. Peanuts are among nine major food allergens that federal law requires to be listed on food packaging.